on the way, we enter a storm and we crash headlong right into this rugged mountain, 8,200 feet. I woke up, our bodies were sprawled in this 45 degree icy chute. At a certain point, I had to admit that he wasn't gonna be able to help me anymore, that I was on my own. Eventually, we started down this, this initial icy chute. She slipped and was killed, but her eyes were open, so it was confusing for me at that age. I was 11. And then I continued down and varied terrain and all kinds of things happened. I got stuck in snow. I had to get through little creek gulches and, and broken rock and ice. And I just wanted to go away more than anything in the world. I wanted that pain to go away. Now, had I not, you know, gone in there and seen that, that thing, that, that thing I feared the most, I would not have learned to sort of find those answers that were there for me. Joe Campbell describes the dragon as being a beast covered with scales, and on every scale it says either thou shalt or thou shalt not. So this beast is a construction of all of the rules, regulations, social obligations, cultural accretions that have made you feel that you either have to or can't do certain things. And you get to take everything you've learned and, and knock this guy out. If you were to ask me, what's the one thing that's, that keeps people from their mountaintops? What's the one thing that keeps people small rather than allowing them to present their genius to the world? It's, it's their fears, or as Joseph Campbell says, it's their dragons. <laughs>